<clears throat> Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot and I am here to do a weekend reading. This is um, for the collective, collective meaning all signs. So this is the reading for the weekend. I'm a day late, but it's still the weekend. So today is Saturday, November 12th. So this is for November 11th to the 13th. Um, but today is actually the 12th. So collective, please keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reader might resonate, other parts of the reader might not. As well, keep in mind that timing is fluid. So this reading can manifest over the weekend. It can manifest later on down the line in time. Or this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So... I didn't get any messages during the pre-shuffle, so I got to show you guys at the bottom of the decks. So I'm going to show you what's at the bottom of the decks that I'm using. Let me just shuffle this deck right here. Let me finish shuffling this deck. All right. So at the bottom of this deck, we got hooked, addicted to someone or something. So collective view of somebody else is addicted to something or someone. Then we got Nautilus. Princess, powerful personal growth, Nautilus, Nautilus, princess, powerful personal growth. We got chasing at the bottom of this deck. At the bottom of this deck, we got altercation. At the bottom of this deck, we got number 40, wine. Wine is the symbol of cheerfulness and gaiety. Then what else deck I'm using? Then we got Privileged Lady. So this is my card for Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine right behind it. So something could be going on with um the twins. Then we got the, oh yeah, the lovers. Yeah, something going on concerning the twin flame connection, the lovers. Collective, you or somebody else could be a Gemini or you're dealing with your twin or something like that. The lovers is also the twin flame card as well. So somebody could be chasing somebody and it might end up in an altercation. Something like that going on. All right. So I'm going to pull your overall energy from the Kipper deck. So what's the collective's overall energy? What's the collective the overall energy for the weekend? Over the weekend. All right. We got imprisonment imprisonment <clears throat> so by so somebody could be dealing with restrictions somebody's going to get restricted somebody might end up in jail i'm picking up restrictions so somebody could end up in jail or some type of restrictions is going on over the weekend these restrictions could be good or bad somebody might get arrested 3d or 5d if it's the 5D, somebody could be getting karma or somebody's conscience might get arrested. This could be somebody's conscience. Somebody might get restricted from doing something that they know they shouldn't do. Or somebody going to end up in jail. Some type of imprisonment over the weekend. So, collective, that's the overall energy. So, you or somebody else could be dealing with restrictions. So, all right. That's the overall energy. And then we got false person. Yeah. So, collective, you might get restricted from a false person or a false person might get restricted or a false person might end up in jail. Or, collective, you might suffer an, an injustice because of a false person. So, just be mindful of that, too. Somebody might suffer an injustice because of a false person. Somebody could also be lying about some restrictions. Somebody, that could be a lie, this imprisonment energy. All right, give me a message for imprisonment for the collective. Or somebody might get restricted for lying. <sighs> okay, so collective, I'm picking up something or somebody wants you to do something out of divine order. Somebody wants you to do something out of divine order. 
So, collective, somebody could be asking you to do, like, something that's right or do what's right, but it's not the timing. So, collective, this could be somebody wanting to marry you, but it's not the right timing. Like, marriage is a good thing. People should get married. Marriage is not for everyone, but marriage could be a good thing. But it's also about the timing. So somebody might get restricted. Might, somebody might get restricted from doing the right thing because it's not the right time. So that's what I'm picking up. It's not the right time. Well, collective, you might get restricted from doing something because you're not doing. It's not the right person. So you might get restricted from doing the right thing with the wrong person. Like something like that. Whether it's work, love, or life. All right, give me a message for imprisonment. Give me a message for that. <clears throat> oh, shoot. Whew, boy. So this is transitions to the spirit realm. Somebody might get restricted from passing away or collective you're going to get restricted from somebody that's passing away or something like that death might get restricted as well somebody might escape death or death experience somebody might um get rescued from being in harm's way i'm picking that up too Yeah. I'm also picking up if somebody um end up in jail, this is prison is actually saving somebody's life or somebody might pass away in jail or somebody going to jail is a good thing because it's going to keep them from death or something like that. <clears throat> So somebody might get restricted from transitioning to the spirit realm. Somebody might get restricted from passing away or something like that. Or collective, you're getting restricted from somebody that could be getting karma and this person might pass away. So it's like you're, going, you're getting restricted from somebody because somebody might pass away or something. All right, what's going on with the collective? What the, can the collective expect? All right, wait, let me use this deck first. Give me some messages for the collective. Give me some messages for the collective. Number 18, the card. This card represents the lady whose fortune is being told. <clears throat> So somebody um, over the weekend could be a female. A female is going to get a tarot reading and her fortune is being told. All right, number 28. The anchor denotes successful ventures in business and love. Number five, the tree. Good health. All right. So, collective, if you a female, you could be getting a tarot reading over the weekend. And, and collective, this tarot reading is telling you about your, your fortune. And, collective, um, your fortune is being told about something to do with successful ventures and business and love and good health. Or, collective, whether you a male or a female... It could be, this female could be your hater, or enemy, or a foe, or your karmic. And collective, this female is going to get a tarot reading on you. And collective, this woman is hearing good things about you through this tarot reading. So this woman already know that her fortune is opposite of you. So collective, if this woman is going to get a tarot reading, and she's finding out you're going to have success 
successful ventures and love and business and you're going to have good health. This woman already know that her fortune is opposite of you. So somebody could be being restricted from this woman. So collective, whether you a male or a female, it's a woman that could be getting a tarot reading done on you. And collective, I'm also picking up this woman went and got a tarot reading on you. So the tarot reading already told her what the deal is. But collective, what this woman going to do is try to fix something. This woman going to try to reverse something. But she's not going to be able to do it because collective, you're going to be restricted from her. Divine time is going to step, step in and you're going to be restricted from this woman. So collective, say like this woman went and got a tarot reading behind your back. And the tarot reader told her, yeah, the collective is going to have successful ventures and business and love. And the collective have good health. Collective, I don't know who this woman is. But collective, this woman going to try to fix a situation to where you have the total opposite. Like you have failure in, in business and love and that you have bad health. Collective, because this woman is wishing ill intent on you, she's going to be restricted from you. Yeah. I also see collective. This woman could be sick. This woman could be sick, collective. <sighs> collective, this woman could be sick. And she could be getting a tarot reading. Collective, this woman could have just found out she got like a, a illness. It could be a STD. It don't have to be. But this woman want to know if she gave the sickness to you. And the cards are saying that she didn't. She didn't give it to you. You're in good health. So collective, this woman could also be a family member. I'm picking that up too. Collective, this woman could be your family member. Um, this woman could have COVID. She can have some type of airborne. She can have hepatitis. But if this woman, this woman want to know if she gave you this sickness because she feels guilty and collective, she didn't. So it might make her feel better that she didn't give you this illness or this sickness. So collective, it's a female around you. She could be sick. And she's passing away and she don't want you to know. I'm picking that up too. Collective, somebody around you is passing away. It could be a woman. Collective, this could be your... I don't know who this woman is to you, but it's like she knows she's passing away. And collective, you might be restricted from her. And she just want to get a, re a reading on you. She probably want to know how you're going to do after she pass away. This woman want to know how your life is going to be after she pass away. So this woman either loves you or she's like um, trying to plan your demise. But she's getting a tarot reading. Or it's a woman that's getting a tarot reading because she could be sick. And this woman going to have to do what she got to do to heal. So she, this woman might also get restricted from um, death. Yeah, this woman could be sick. Or it's a woman that found out some bad news. And she's going to go get a tarot reading. And she's going to find out that she's actually going to recover. Like death is going to be restricted. Yeah. So, collective, this is you or somebody you know. Yeah, but this woman is going to be healed. For some of y'all, this woman is going to be healed. And death is going to get restricted. Death is being restricted. So, whatever this woman's sickness is or illness is, it's going to get healed. Yeah. Or something like that going on. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, something could be going on with this woman's eyes. And something could be going on with her throat or something. Because in the picture, it's like it's black. Like her eyes is black and her throat, that area around her throat could be black. Or somebody's going to get a, somebody could be going to get a tarot reading on this woman. And they want to know if this woman is going to recover. So collective, you might get a tarot reading on your sick family member. And you want to know, is, is she going to get, is she going to heal? You want to know that? So this lady's fortune is being told. Yeah. So somebody could be going to get a, a tarot reading on somebody, like a, a feminine, a female family member. Or this, yeah. Or this lady is getting a tarot reading on somebody else who, be, who could be sick or something like that. Somebody should also be careful. It depends. Um, somebody should be careful, though. It depends on what somebody is doing to get healed. It depends on what this person is doing to get healing. So this could be a situation where somebody... Uh, might do something that they shouldn't do to get some type of healing. It's like this person saved their life, but they lost their soul. Like somebody was able to restrict death, but it's like they lost their soul or something like that. So somebody should be careful. I also see that it's a woman that's doing some type of dark magic to get success, to get successful ventures in business and love, and to keep up the appearance of good health, but this woman is passing away. Yeah. This woman visits a practitioner, like, often, because she, she gets work done to, to, to remain successful and in good health, but in our reality, she's sick. Yeah, this woman is sick. Or somebody's doing the best that they can to restrict death. But this woman still is like dying or something like that. Yeah. So somebody could also be getting karma. <clears throat> somebody could also be getting karma. It's like in the past... Somebody did some type of dark magic to get success to get success in business and love and to like remain in good health. But it's like this woman body is deteriorating. So this woman did some dark magic to get success in business and love and to remain in good health. But she's still dying or something like that. Somebody's still dying. So it's like her fortune is being told about some type of dark magic she did in the past to obtain good health. Like her fortune is being told. Or this woman in the past could have did dark magic on somebody else to restrict her own transition or something. So for, I'm picking that up too. Somebody could be getting karma. Yeah, I'm picking that up too. Yeah. What's going on with number 18, the lady? Yeah. The cat indicates flattery if near number six. Yeah. I think it's a lady out here whose fortune is being told about her flattering someone. This lady could have been doing death work on somebody. This, la this lady could have did a uh, death ritual on somebody. This lady did a death ritual on someone who was have who had success and ventures and love and business and who had good health. Somebody did a death ritual on somebody in the past, and over the weekend, 
this lady could be doing a checkup. She want to know what's going on with this person that she did a death ritual on. And this lady is sick. So I don't know if her death ritual worked. I don't know if it worked. But this woman, because she did a death ritual on someone, she's dying. So her fortune is being told about some past flattery she did. She flattered someone, this woman. Or something. So collective, over the weekend, I think this lady is trying to like restrict death. Or collective, this lady that did a death ritual on you, you're going to be restricted from her because she's passing away. Or something. Yeah. Or this lady is getting a is getting a tarot reading because it could have been a successful businessman that gave her an illness. So somebody, a man could have flattered this woman and gave her an STD. So her, this woman's fortune is being told that somebody flattered her and she's like sick. Somebody could have gave her a sickness or something. Or her business partner did this to her. Or she wants to know what hap happened to her health. Somebody wants to know what happened to her health. And her business partner or her lover did this to her. And he was flattering her because this man could have been sick. He could have looked it good on the outside. But this man could have been sick or something. Or this woman was flattering someone. Or this woman flattered a practitioner or something. Somebody could have lied to a practitioner or something. Yeah, some type of flattery. What's going on with number 28, the anchor? I also just heard this woman got a tarot reader in the past. And a tarot reader flattered her. This woman could have went to the tarot reader and she wanted this, this this woman wanted to know if she was sick. And the tarot reader flattered her instead of telling her the truth. A tarot reader could have flattered somebody instead of telling telling this lady the truth. I don't know if this tarot reader lied to this lady. Because she just couldn't stomach it telling her the truth. Or this tarot reader lied to this lady because this tarot reader wanted this lady to pass away. Like she didn't want her to get to get uh, help in time. She just wanted this woman to pass away so she could have lied to her or something. So collective, you could also be being restricted from like a tarot reader. Yeah, something like that. What's going on with number 28, the anchor? Number 25, yep. The number 25, the clouds. Yeah, somebody could be getting a divorce. Somebody was married. <laughs> this lady gave her husband a, 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 a illness or this the husband gave her an illness. And they could be getting a divorce or something. Or this lady is sick and she don't want her husband to know she's sick or something. Or she want to know how her husband is going to do it after she passed away or something. Clouds with the dark side towards the person indicates divorce. Mm -hmm. Clarify number five, the tree. 
what I kind of see in the cards too, anybody, whoever was lying, flattering someone, doing death rituals, it's going to be a reversal. The tables is turning. Somebody's getting karma for trying to, for lying, flattering, or doing a death ritual. And whoever, it's like something somebody was doing in the past. They're getting the karma for it over the weekend. So somebody did a death ritual on someone in the past. Somebody was lying to somebody or flattering someone in the past. So this could also be a lady who married a, a very successful man. And this man could <clears throat> this man could be divorcing this lady because he found out that she only married him for money or something like that. Or something like that. Or a man could have married this woman for money in the past. Clarify number five. Yep, number 29, the mouse. Mm-hmm. The mouse denotes lost by theft. Yeah. So somebody getting they just do over the weekend. Somebody stole somebody's good health. Yeah, somebody stole somebody's good health. And these people or these pe this couple or these two people could have been business partners or lovers or both. And it's a divorce here or a breakup because somebody was flattering somebody. Yeah. So a lady's fortune is being told. I don't know if this if this lady is the offender or the victim. But somebody was flattering somebody in the past. Because somebody wanted success in ventures, wanted successful ventures in business or love. Somebody could have, somebody's getting a divorce over the weekend or somebody caused somebody a divorce or something. So somebody could have caused somebody to break up because somebody wanted to marry somebody else's lover for money. And this person stole somebody's health or something like that. So collective, you or somebody else, somebody's lover, somebody was married. They could have been dating a third party. And the third party caused you and your spouse a divorce. Collective, you could have remarried your third party or you're in a relationship with your third party. And somebody might find out that they third party... Or their new spouse or their new lover gave them like a STD or somebody sick or something like that. But somebody was flattering somebody though. It's like opposites is happen, happening. Opposites is happening. You have the offender and you have the victim. The victim is getting karmic justice and the offender is getting bad karma. So the offender is getting karma for flattery, some type of flattery. The offender is going, going through a divorce. And the offender um, is experiencing some type of loss because of some type of theft. So somebody could also be getting karma for what they did to somebody in the past. And it's like the victim is having successful ventures in business and love and somebody's in good health. So I also see this doesn't necessarily have to be an STD. This could be somebody giving somebody COVID or something. It's like somebody's going to recover and somebody's not. Yeah. Somebody's going to recover and somebody's not. So somebody could somebody in the past could have convinced someone to divorce their spouse. But this person was a thief. Or collective over the weekend. Somebody's trying to flatter you to divorce your spouse. But this person is a thief. Yeah. Or something like that. So collective, 
for some of y'all, I'm hearing too, collective, this could be somebody you haven't even had sex with. So collective, you're either, you could be married. And collective, you could be flirting with somebody. Collective, this person got an STD. It's like collective, don't cheat on your spouse with this person. It could be this woman. It don't have to be a woman. But somebody got an STD. Somebody going to give somebody an STD. And somebody's going to experience a loss of health. Because somebody was trying to flatter somebody to get them to divorce their spouse. So collective spirit might restrict you from this woman who could be dying. Somebody could be dying. <clears throat> it's like collective on the outside, this woman or this man look like they in good health. But they're a thief collective. You sleep with this person, this person going to take your health. They're going to give you an STD. And this person is flattering somebody. Yeah, some type of flattery. Yeah, but this lady, this lady, I think she's getting a, a reading done. This this girl's sick. Something wrong with her. It could be an STD. It don't have to be. Collective, this, if this sickness is not an STD, it's like collective, this woman could be sick. And she wants you to divorce your wife and marry her so that She'll have a decent life before she pass away. She just want a decent life before she pass away. But collective, I'm picking up to a certain extent. That's not your problem. So it's like collective, you're being restricted from somebody who's in the process of dying. This woman don't have to have no STD. But what she's not telling you is she's sick. And she's going to the extent of trying to get you to divorce your wife but she's not telling you she's sick and she's flattering somebody because she just want a decent life a decent burial for when she do pass away it's like collective say like this woman something wrong with her it don't have to be an std it's like collective say like everything work out how this woman wanted to work out and she gets you to divorce your wife and you marry her it's like collective, this woman going to tell you about her sickness like a year or two after y'all get married. But this woman knew she was sick before y'all got married. Or something like that. Yeah, it's like this woman just want to have like, if this is not an STD, this woman just want to have a decent life like before she pass away. And she's like going to the extent of um trying to get you to divorce your wife. Yeah, this woman is desperate, and to a certain extent, I get it. It's understandable. She want a companion, like, because she's passing away. But it's like, she, she, you still don't, you still don't do nothing like that. You still don't do that. Yeah. So it's like, collective, the most high is going to politely restrict you from this woman. Yeah. It's like this woman go to tarot readers because she knows she dying and she meets men and then she go to her tarot reader and she say, is my new lover, is so-and-so going to fall for this? Is he going to treat me how I want to be treated? It's like she target people, then go to her tarot reader and ask her tarot reader. It's like she want men that's in good health and like successful. So they can take care of her because she's passing away. But it's like collective, you're going to be restricted from this woman. And for some of y'all, this is your ex. Or this is a complete stranger, stranger and you're going to run into this woman over the weekend. And collective, this woman is sick, a terminally like an illness or she got an STD. And I think she know it. This woman know it. Yeah. Yep, something like that going on. So let me see. I'm going to put some terror on it. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Collective, you might ghost this woman. You might ghost this woman.
Give me tarot on number 18, the lady. Give me tarot on number 18, the lady, and number 36, the cat. Yeah, the hangman. Yeah, somebody's being enlightened. The hangman. So, collective view of somebody else could be a Pisces. When somebody got Pisces in their chart, the hangman. So, this woman might be, this woman could be being enlightened about somebody else's fortune. Or this woman is being enlightened about her own fortune. Somebody's being enlightened. Or this woman is going to get delayed. Yeah, her plans might get delayed. This woman might experience a delay. Yeah, somebody might get hung up. Or collective, you're going to jail. Collective, you might go to jail because this woman is after you. And spirit trying to save your life. This woman probably have an STD. It's like, collective, you might go to jail today. Because you might meet, you, spirit knew that you was going to run into this woman today. This woman, you probably won't even get a chance to meet her because you're going to jail. But collective, this woman was going to be the end of you. You're like, your demise. So you're going to jail because somebody's getting a tarot reading. Because for some of y'all, this woman, she likes target men because she knows she's sick. So she targets certain men. And collective, you was like a perfect candidate for her. So you might go to jail or something. Or somebody's somebody's getting enlightened or something. I also see this woman getting a tarot reading. She's trying to go to a tarot reading because she's trying to figure out how to flatter someone. Because collective, you or somebody else has successful ventures in love and business. And this woman want to cause you a divorce by way of flattery. Collective, you or somebody else have good health. And this woman want to cause you a loss by theft. I see that too. So this woman is going to a practitioner or a tarot reader to plan something out. So, collective, you might go to jail or you're going to be restricted from this woman or something. Or something like that. Somebody's trying to be enlightened on how to successfully come up come up over someone. Get one up over somebody. This can even be dark magic, a death ritual. And it might backfire on somebody. Yeah. Give me tarot on number 28, the anchor, and number 25, clouds. Yeah, the three of cups. Yeah. So this could be a twin collective. You is either in union with your twin, and the karmic could be trying to cause y'all a divorce, or the karmic trying to do a death ritual over you. Collective, you're either in union with your twin, or you're just a divine feminine or divine masculine. And this karmic could be a third party. So the karmic could be a third party. Well, collective, somebody tried to do a death ritual on you. Collective, you could be sick. And collective, you might go get a tarot reading because you want to know what the hell, why you sick, what's going on with you. And it could have been your spouse's third party who was doing death rituals on you. It's like collective, you finding out is going to save your life. So death is going to be restricted because you found out. Somebody was doing something and didn't want you to know. But because you found out, your awareness is going to restrict death. And it could have been a third party. Or something like that. So, collective, you might find out why so-and-so is having successful ventures in business and love. And why so-and-so is such in good health and why you sick. 
or something like that. Like your awareness is going to be able to reverse something because you're aware of why you're sick or something. Give me tarot for number five, the tree and loss by theft. So we got more water, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So collective view of somebody else could be a water sign or y'all got water in y'all chart. Yo, you got the King of Cups. Yeah. So this is all water energy out here. So all together we got four cups. So somebody might feel rejected or disappointed or somebody feels intimidated over the weekend for cups. The universe might reject somebody because of divine timing and the hangman could be divine timing because the hangman is a major arcana. This could be the universe in charge. So somebody unexpectedly is going to get like rejected. Or bad or get bad news or something. Somebody needs to like it's a hater out here or a karmic that was being hateful. Somebody was like doing something. Somebody was getting tarot reading, planning something, had a practitioner, doing dark magic. Somebody was doing something. But this person going to end up full of cups. Because spirit is saying you need to practice self-love and stop doing this. Something is not going to go this person way. So somebody is being enlightened that they're actually for cups. They're actually being rejected. And spirit is inviting this person to practice self-love. Instead of doing dark magic or manipulation to get their way. Trying to cipher somebody else's energy or something like that. Yeah. The King of Cups. That King of Cups could be emotional mastery. The King of Cups could also be a, a spell caster. The King of Cups could be um, somebody that loves someone. The King of Cups can also be intuitive too. Yeah. So somebody, this lady could be going to get a tarot reading. She trying to figure out how can how can she get successful ventures ventures in business and love, and how can she get her good health back? And the tarot reader could be telling her, you have to flatter someone and call somebody a divorce. Like the tarot reader is telling her, this is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to become a thief and a liar to get what you want. Yeah, somebody could also be finding out that a man don't love them. Somebody doesn't love them. So in order for this woman to win this man's affection, she's going to have to become a thief and a liar. So a tarot reader or practitioner could be telling this woman, this is the only way you can get this man to love you because this man loves somebody else. Now, if you want this man, I can do a death ritual. I can do this. I can do that. But if you really want this success and virtues and love and you want good health, this is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to flatter someone. You're going to have to cause them a divorce. And that means you're a thief. You cause these people a loss because you, you, you this is stealing. 
Like something like that, somebody. Um, so it could be a woman that could be going to a practitioner and she might restrict herself because she know that in order for her to get the affection of this man, she's going to have to cause somebody else death. So it's like this woman might say, nah, no, no, I don't want to do it. It's not worth it. So I see that too. Because the king of cups, this woman, this man loves another woman. He loves somebody else. He loves this other woman. And the only death is like going to, not even death, but only death is like going to get this man to like, Love the third party or something. It's only death. Because this man in love with somebody else. So it's like only death would do them part. And the third party know that. Somebody could be married. And the tarot reader is saying only death. is going to keep this man away from his, his wife. Or something. So this tarot reader or this practitioner is saying to this, this karmic. Do you really want to cause death to this man's wife to get this man? Because that's the only thing. Or something like that. So this woman, this lady might restrict herself from causing death or something. Yeah, something like that going on. Or this could be this man's wife. So it's like collective. You could be dealing with your divine masculine. Your divine masculine married the karmic. It's like he's married to the karmic on paper, but his heart is with you. So this tarot reader, this practitioner is telling the karmic, you the wife, but the only way to get your husband to leave divine feminine is through death. Because on a spiritual level, it's like divine feminine, this is your twin. This is your twin. So it's like, yeah, so it's like... This woman could also be your divine masculine's wife or something. And she going to the tarot, tarot reader like, I'm trying to get my husband to leave divine feminine alone. He won't leave her alone. And this tarot reader was like, only death going to keep him from her or something. So somebody who could be married is being enlightened that they're married, but they're actually rejected. Like... They are married, but this man is don't love her or something like that. So it's a woman out here that's being um, challenged to some type of self-love. Because she's realizing that that king of cups don't love her. She's the third party, whether they married or not. Spiritually, she's the third party because this man's heart is somewhere else. Yeah, he got his back turned to her. Like she the third party. That king of cups got his eye on somebody else. Yeah, so this this lady up here, she's either the karmic or she's your divine masculine wife. I mean, she's either um, your divine masculine wife. Oh, still the same. Well, it's not the same, but she's either your divine. She could be married to your divine masculine <clears throat> or collective you married and she the karmic. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah, so collective, something is not going to be easy. Something not going to be easy for this woman, this karmic, to, like, do something. It's not going to be easy. And that's what this practitioner or this tarot reader is trying to tell this lady whose fortune is being told. That something is not going to be easy to, like, steal. Or it's going to be at a price. It's, it's very costly. Or something like that. Yeah, or something. Yeah, so that was an hour I spent on them cards. Wow. So let me just get into the tarot. All right, what's going on with the collective? What can the collective expect for over the weekend? The nine of wands. So somebody could be a fire sign. Uh, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. 
The Ace of Cups. Yeah, somebody's protecting their love. Somebody's protecting their love. I'm hearing passionate, passionately. Somebody loves somebody and they're not changing their mind. The Nine of Wands to me could be somebody with a made up mind. They love who they love. They love what they love and that's it or something like that. I'm also picking up somebody's not going to let somebody deceive them. Because the Ace of Cups to me could be self-awareness. So somebody, this could be like a man who got married. And it's like his ex is trying to make him feel bad for choosing Divine Feminine. And this man is like, uh-uh, I'm very aware I ch made the right decision. I'm not changing my mind. My wife is my wife, and that's the end of it. Or something like that. Or somebody is very self-confident. Somebody's confident about who they are, and they're not going to let nobody deceive them. So somebody already had their Ace of Cups experience. This is self-awareness, self self-acceptance. Somebody like, no. Or something. Yeah, we got the Six of Cups. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody could have already went through, like, their dark night of the soul. One of the baddest, worst moments in their life or something. They went through it in the past. Or this person been with someone since the past. Then we got the Ace of Swords. Yeah. Somebody knows something to be true. That's why they fighting for it. So this could also be somebody um, fighting for their spouse, fighting for who they are. Something to do with kids, children. Somebody could be trying to make somebody feel bad. Because they kept the baby. Somebody probably wanted somebody to get an abortion. And somebody made a decision to keep their baby. Somebody wants somebody to feel bad about the truth. Somebody, Something was actually a victory. Something somebody did in the past. And this person like, I ain't changing my mind. I did what I did. I said what I said. And that's the end of it. I don't care what it looked like to people. I don't care, I don't care what it looked like to other people. Yeah, somebody like, I know what I did was true. I know what I did what was right. And I know what I did or whatever the decisions I made, it got me a victory or something like that, somebody saying. Yeah, Somebody is like convinced, somebody is convicted, and somebody is not changing their mind. Because it's like this Ace of Cups and the Six of Cups, that's Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups could be like something that's very stressful or um, something that's confusing. The Ace of Cups could also be like a little bit of confusion. But this Seven of Cups is like a good thing. So, yeah, something appears to be hard work or something. Hmm. What if I the nine of wands? So we got the nine of wands already set fire. Then we got the ace of cups, the six of cups. <sighs> that's water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Then we got the ace of swords. That's air, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Yeah, somebody the wounded warrior. Then we got the two of swords. So we got more air. Yeah, Collective, you're very defensive against somebody who don't have all the information. So it's like, Collective, this could be somebody who wants to know something and you're not telling them. Or it's like, Collective, somebody want to feud with you or argue with you. And it's like, Collective, 
you not telling this person everything because it's like kind of like none of their business. Or collective, you saying to somebody, I'm not going nowhere until you give me all the information. So somebody could be saying, I ain't doing nothing until you tell me like all the facts or you tell me, answer my question. So the nine of wands could be like, I'm not doing it because I don't have all the information. Or collective, somebody is harassing you because they want you to tell them something or something. So collective, the nine of wands is two swords or this person that's coming up against you is two swords. So this person either don't have all the information about you and they in your business or something. Or collective, you fight into the death. You like, I ain't doing nothing until you answer my question. Why you can't answer that question? And you can't answer that question. I ain't doing what you want me to do. Or something. Yep. So, collective, you and this person could have been going at it for nine months, nine weeks, nine years, nine hours, nine days. Collective, you ain't giving up. So, collective, it's like you saying to yourself, no, you give me a reason. Bump all that other stuff, that noise you making, all that other stuff you doing. I'm so sure of myself. I'm focused. That stuff you talking about, you give me a reason. Explain yourself. Give me a reason why I should do something the way you want me to do it or something like that. Somebody focused as well. Collective, somebody trying to distract you. And you like, uh-uh, I'm focused. All that other stuff you talking about, mm-mm. We focused on this right here. And if you can't answer my question, then I can't do what you want me to do. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Collective, it can also be somebody out here that want to get you pregnant. And collective, you probably got kids already. Collective, you already seven cups. You got a lot of responsibilities. Um, it's stressful, you multitask. Collective, you probably already been there and done that. All that confusion. You being um somebody, you you being some being one of many um breakup to make up kids. Collective, you've been there and done that. And collective, it could be a man that's trying to convince you that he different. Give him a chance. He's not going to do to you what the rest of them did. And collective, you asking this man a question and he not answering you. So it's like collective, you not giving this man what he wants or something like that. Yeah, collective, somebody wants you to... um. Somebody wants somebody to get pregnant or somebody wants somebody to get an abortion or something. This Ace of Pentacles could be um, my card for somebody that's giving birth. Like, that could be a brand new baby. So, Collective, you could be saying to this man, why you want to get me pregnant? Why? Like, something It's like, Collective, you want to know why? 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 Or something. Or collective, it's also a man out here that's trying to play you. Collective, this man already got an ace of swords. He already got a victory. This man could be married with kids. And his wife could be pregnant. And collective, this man wants something from you. And he not telling you about his victory he already got at home. This man could be married, very successful. He already got kids and, and, and his wife pregnant right now. And collective, you probably don't know. And this man don't want you to know or something like that. Yeah, then we got the eight of wands. Collective, it could be a female. This could be a lover or something. Collective, whether you whether you a male or a female. Collective, it's somebody out here who's already established. They already got a family. And collective, this person want to be in your business, but they don't want you to know their business. Like this person already married, got kids. 
a family man, a one, uh, 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 um, this, yeah, and collective, this man in your business. He want to be in your business, control your life, and he already got a wife and kids or something like that. Or well, collective, you um, collective. If you're a female, be careful because you could be dealing with somebody, his wife or his girlfriend. She like sick, and you trying to fight this this man's girlfriend, and she like dying. So it's like collective spirit gonna restrict you from this this woman because she dying. But it's like collective, you don't know. You this man's third party, or you're this man's main girlfriend. But it's like collective, the other woman, she's sick. And it's like this this man won't just come out and tell you that. And collective, you think it's like a normal day. Oh, tell me who she is. Tell me where she live at. I'm I'ma do this. I'ma do that. Collective, this woman passing away. But it's like this man should just tell you, but he not. Or something like that. He should just tell you the other woman's sick or something. But anyways, um, the Ace of Pentacles, that's Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, a Virgo. Um, then we got the Eight of Wands. That's more fire. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Yeah, it's a woman out here that could be pregnant. Collective, it could be you or something. Something going on with a pregnancy. Somebody's already pregnant. Somebody probably wants somebody to get an abortion, or give a child up for adoption, or, um, yeah, something like that. Clarify the Ace of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles in Reverse. So there's more Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. cards that um somebody it's like once somebody lost their virginity or once somebody became aware that they can conceive this person never stopped <laughs> so it's like somebody got the truth and they did, never stopped or something like that so this is like somebody once they started having sex they like became like crazy with it like they got they have sex all the time it's like once it's like this person went crazy after they got the truth or it's like once somebody figured out like they can have kids it's like this man or this woman never stopped this person always pregnant or this person always getting somebody pregnant <laughs> it's like something was just out of control or somebody wasn't committed once they got the truth so somebody could have been a certain type of way since the past. Somebody been a certain type of way since the past. Because somebody got the truth about something. And it's like once this person started, they didn't stop. And so this person is probably not committed or... This is telling me something was never stagnant. Like something, somebody just, just never stopped doing something. Or something. I don't know. Collective, you could be a man and this woman don't want you to know she a hoe or something. Something, somebody is nine wands. This could be a good thing or a bad thing. Somebody don't want somebody to know what they be doing. But it's seven cups. Mm. 
Mm. Or collective, stay away from this woman because this woman be getting getting these men killed or something. This woman can have a lot of lovers. And it's like collective, you, uh-uh, this woman be getting people killed or something. And she don't want you to know why or something. Somebody could be being restricted from somebody that is going to put their life in danger. That's all I'm going to say. In whatever scenario this is, whether it's a man or a woman, somebody's being restricted from somebody that's going to put their life in danger. So this is also somebody that thought they'll never get karma or something. Clarify the two of swords. Yeah, the star. Mm -hmm. Collective, somebody don't want you to know something because they just want to heal. It's like collective, if this person tell you the truth, they're not going to be able to heal. Or collective, somebody just want to be able to glow over you. They want to add you to their collection. So somebody want to heal at your expense. Or collective, somebody wants you to be one of many. They want you to be another one of their victims or something. They want to be the star. So, collective, you or somebody else could be an Aquarius. Clear about the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, shoot. Yep. So, we got more Earth Capricorn towards a Virgo. Yeah. And we got them fours coming out again. So, we had the four cups. And then we got the four of pentacles. Somebody is not down with something. Somebody not down with something. Somebody is saying, I refuse to be one of many. Or if you don't answer my question, I'm not going no further with you or something. Somebody is like, it's like the offer is on the table or the baby is born or it's an offer here. But somebody is like, I will not cooperate until you tell me what's going on or something. So I'm I'm hearing it again, collective. Somebody wants somebody to be their victim. Somebody want another victim. So this could be a narcissist. Something. It's like collective. Somebody wants something from you. This person already have something, but they want something from you. But they want you to tell them all your information without had them having to tell you their information. Like something like that is going on. So, somebody did something to somebody in the past. It's like once this person did this once and they got away with it, they never stopped. So, they feel as though they can do it to everybody. Because somebody found out that something was... Um, this could have even been somebody once they... It's like this is somebody who did a death ritual in the past and it worked. And it's like once this person realized that, that their death ritual worked and they didn't get karma, they kept doing death rituals on people. Yeah, something like that. Once somebody got the truth that something actually worked, they never stopped doing it. But collective, I think this person is going to get stopped in their tracks over the weekend. Or they getting karma for everything they did in the past over the weekend. Because once somebody found out something worked, it's like they didn't stop. So this could be a man in the past, he found out his wingy worked. And he can have kids and it's just like from then on collective, this man, when he figured out he can have kids and use his wingy, he just never stopped. So it's like somebody could be a player. They don't commit. They can have like a lot of kids and they don't want you to know about their past. But it's like collective, this person want to heal something with you, but they don't want you to know their business or something. But this person be victimizing people, though. They have victims or something. Mm. 
Yeah, somebody going sideways. Somebody, it could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This person is not getting something to go their way. Something that they did in the past that was successful, it's not going to work out over the weekend or something. Clarify the um, Eight of Wands. It's like the, this person loved having sex without being committed. Somebody loved having sex without being committed or something like that. Or this person is a user. Somebody, it could be a narcissist. This person uses people or something. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Yeah, we got the Five of Cups. <sighs> Let me see. The Nine of Wands. Is this a karmic? The Nine of Wands. Is this a karmic? Yeah. Yeah. This person that's Nine Wands, they about to be they about to become burdened. They, this person is a wounded warrior. Something is catching up to somebody. This person likes to do spell work or they like to have a lot of lovers or they like to cause confusion. And they love it. The Six of Cups, they love it. Once this person found out that something was that something worked or they figured out how to do something, they were Six of Cups. They loved it. Or this is somebody who loves to have sex. Oh my God, this person just loves sex. Yeah. This could for some of y'all, this is a man. And he could have a woman pregnant or something. And collective, he just gonna move on to the next. Or collective, your lover might change his mind. He's not gonna marry you, or he giving you a hard time about commitment because he got somebody pregnant. So, Collective, you could be dating a player and you don't know it. And he gives you a hard time or something because he could have somebody pregnant or something. So, somebody could, something could be catching up to somebody. Collective, this could even be your karmic lover. Collective, um, this man was your karmic and he played and played and played and played and played. And collective, now this man, he kind of like really want to settle down with you, but he can't because he got somebody pregnant. So it could be a masculine that might switch up on you. Yeah, he either got somebody pregnant or something. It's like he regret having sex with this woman because she pregnant. So it's like collective, it's a karmic out here that realized who you was at the last minute, but it's too late because he got somebody pregnant and he don't want you to know. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, temperance. Yeah, somebody needs to slow down and stop what they're doing. Somebody not being committed or somebody being unstoppable, that needs to be temperanced out. Or somebody being somebody's behavior is being temperanced out over the weekend. So somebody could be getting karma because they they want to stop or something. Collective, you could be an Aquarius and your lover didn't want you to know something, or you um you an air sign, a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Yeah, collective. For some of y'all, you a female and you dealing with a man. This man was your karmic lover. And you could have thought he was your divine masculine. 
but the dogs um outside like all i never heard all the dogs are barking outside i had to close that door y'all probably heard them usually like one of the dogs bark at a time or two of them or whatever it's like all the dogs is barking so somebody out here was a dog Or this woman, all her lovers are dogs or something? It's a man out here. He's a dog. Or this woman, all her lovers are dogs or something. Or something like that. All them dogs, dogs outside barking. All of them. So it could be a woman out here. One of her lovers might do harm to her. Or something. Or it's like collective. You're, um, this could be somebody you know, a female you know. One of her lovers was going to do harm to her over the weekend, collective, but this man might end up in jail. This woman, all her lovers are dogs. And one of these men was going to hurt her. And he might end up in jail. Or collective, your friend going to end up in jail. She might end up in jail. Because somebody kept doing something and something's going to have to show up. Yeah, somebody was 9-1. And they knew how to do something and get away with it or something like that. Mm, somebody could have been very secretive. Or this is somebody that used other people for money or resources or something. Yeah. Or collective, you didn't know how popular or something your lover is or was. Collective, your lover could have been a hoe or something and you didn't know. Yeah, or collective, if you a man, this girl, she could have been like a prostitute or something. You didn't know. It's like somebody was famous for all the wrong things. Somebody was the star, but it was like for like. It's something that's going to lead them to their demise or something. So somebody could have been famous for doing. They was like good in casting spells. Somebody was good at robbing people. Somebody was like good at something, but it led to death or something or was trouble. Somebody was good at something. They was the star. And somebody didn't want you to know. Yep, somebody was good at something. Something might get exposed or collected. This could be somebody you married to or something. But um, temperance is here because somebody, uh -uh, mm -mm. somebody might have to confess something or somebody's going to be stopped. Or somebody's going to have to tell the truth about something or something. Tell me more information about temperance. Somebody not being committed or somebody not being able to stop. Somebody didn't stop doing something. That's being temperanced out. So somebody might get caught on camera doing something or something. Or somebody recorded somebody. And they're not going to be able to say they didn't do it or something like that. Or collective, your lover didn't want you to know that they was cheating on you. So collective, say like you was married. It's like collective, when your lover found out that all he got to do is tell women that he not married, it was just as easy as that. All he got to say is, I'm not married. And he got his way with these women. It's like collective, once your husband realized all he got to say is, I'm not married. And that was how he got his way with his other women. It's like he never stopped. He like, damn, is this easy? <laughs> so it's like collective, maybe your husband gonna have to tell the truth to like this these women or one of these women. 
Like he's going to actually have to tell the truth that he married or something. It's something that he never did. Or <laughs> something. Or something. Oh, shoot. <coughs> or collective. This was, this was female doing this. So this woman was married and she was like, wow. All I got to do is say I'm not married. Or something. This woman, the queen of pentacles in reverse. Oh. Mm. That's like somebody that run the streets. Yeah, so, yeah, so addicted to someone or something. Somebody was addicted to something. I don't think this person was addicted to someone. Somebody was addicted to something. Because once they started doing it, they couldn't stop. This could even be drugs. Sometimes that seven of cups could be drugs or something. Give me, um, what's the spill with, um, the nine of wands, the two of swords, and the star? Heartbreaker. Yeah. A person who can break hearts easily. Everyone wants them, but not everyone can have them. Yeah. Collective, I think you might find out somebody a player, and they didn't want you to know. Collective, somebody a heartbreaker, or somebody wanted you to trust them. This person was like, I'm not going to break your heart. I'm not a heartbreaker. Collective, somebody didn't want you to know about their past or they didn't want you to know that they wanted to victimize you like their other victims. Somebody a heartbreaker. And collective, you didn't know that somebody was a star or something. It's like all this person do is break people's hearts. And collective, this person didn't want you to know that. Collective, I also see you might hear something. Collective, it was a man... That kept trying to talk to you. And you wouldn't talk to him. And collective you might hear. That he did harm to like one of his other women. And collective you going to say to yourself. See I knew it was something. It was something wrong with so and so. So collective it's like. You're being restricted from this man. Who might do harm to one of his lovers. He's a heartbreaker. And that's why you could have like. Stayed away from him or something. Yeah, somebody was a wounded warrior. Yep. What's this for the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and Three of Pentacles sideways? I heard somebody say, I don't got time for no BS. Fate, yeah. Fate. Somebody... Collective, over the weekend or in the past, you said, I don't got time for no BS. And collective, over the weekend, you going to realize why you said, I don't got time for no BS or something. So someone who isn't themselves to gain friends and popularity, they seem very nice to everyone, yet trash talks them behind their back in order to improve their social status. Yeah, collective, this could be your ex. Or this is somebody you know, their ex or something. Yeah. Somebody fake, they're a heartbreaker. And collective, you gonna realize why this person went sideways on you. Or collective, you gonna thank God that you went sideways on this person. Like you went and you didn't want to deal with this person or something. What's the spill with the Six of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and Five of Cups? Yeah, a groupie. Can't be alone. Always has to partner up with someone. Tagging along just for the sake of it. Collective, I also see that somebody 
did the most to dim, to dim your light. It's like, collective, you didn't realize you're actually the star. It's like, collective, you was the star. But this person tried to outshine you, but they was doing something dangerous to try to outshine, out, try to outshine you. Collective, you the star naturally, but somebody was doing something dangerous to try to outshine you. So somebody, I think somebody in the past loved to be a groupie. Somebody loved to be a groupie. Or somebody overdid something. They might get karma for doing, for, for just... This is like, say like in the past collective, this woman, she went through a bad divorce. She was committed in the past, but it's like this woman learned the truth that it's best for her to like stay single. But it's like, just because you learned the hard way that it's best to stay single, that don't mean you have to be a hoe. Like this woman overdid something like she overcompensated something. It's like this woman got the truth, damn it's best that I stay independent or stay non-committal. I ain't ever getting married again. But it's like this woman became a hoe or something. So it's like somebody got the truth. It was best to be non-committal. But they became a groupie. It's like somebody didn't have a balance. So this could have been a woman. Um, it's like she told herself. After I'm done with this marriage, this divorce, I'm not ever getting married again. And this woman just started sleeping around. And this woman can have an STD or she's sick. Or something like that. Or something, yeah. Uh, what's this for the Ace of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, and Reverse, and Temperance? Somebody's being protected from this woman, this person that had no type of self-control. <clears throat> Somebody was protected from this person in the past. Or somebody's being protected from this person over the weekend. Yeah. Lies being spread, fake news. So fake rumors have been going around about you or the situation. All lies, no facts. Yeah, so collective, this is like you being married to somebody and they telling people y'all not married. So it was, collective, it's like you telling people y'all married and then your spouse telling everybody else y'all not married or something. Yeah, fake rumors have been going around about you or the situation, all lies, no facts. Because collective, somebody, when they realized something worked, they just became non-committal or they, they wouldn't stop doing something. So, it was rumors being spread. It could have been people saying, now, is y'all married or y'all not married? What's going on? Or something. Yeah. Or collective, it's a woman out here that was telling people... That y'all married and y'all wasn't. So somebody might get the truth that somebody is actually not committed to somebody. Or somebody gonna get the truth that somebody actually didn't stop doing something. When they said they stopped, somebody didn't stop. Or something. So let me get number 44. Somebody's being protected from somebody. Okay, yeah, I am supported. This is a master number. Your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with 
diligence and determination and even greater success will come in the future. Yeah. Collective, I think you need to leave somebody or something behind. Or collective, you have more for you than against you. Because collective, somebody go, somebody you was collaborating with is either going to pass away or collective, if you keep interacting with this person, it's going to lead you to death or something like that. So collective, you are supported. So collective, this could be your spouse or something. It's like collective, somebody making you feel bad because you divorcing them. But it's like collective, your spouse is a hoe. So it's like collective, divorce your spouse before you end up with AIDS or something. Because it's like the, the, the lifestyle your spouse live, y'all you, you, going to end up with AIDS. Like something like that. So it's like collective, you need the strength and the support to restrict something or somebody. It's like you don't want to break up with your lover, but it's like collective, it's the li the lifestyle. So collective, you need help, you need support. Or collective, you just didn't want to believe the truth about somebody. You didn't want to believe it. And this person was like putting your life in danger or something. Your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path. So collective, say like you married, but y'all in separation and you was in the process of a divorce. It's like collective, your spouse is trying to convince you over the weekend to not divorce them or your spouse wants to have sex. And it's like collective, continue on your life path. If you broke up or broke away from your spouse, stay away from them, like something like that. Your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path, the temperance, with diligence and determination and even greater success will come in the future. Yep, something like that. Or collective, this is you and spirit is telling you to stop. Like, whatever you was doing, what? This is somebody that was sleeping around. Or this is somebody that loved to get high. Or somebody loved something and it was going to lead them to death or something. And this person needs to stop before they end up passing away. Yeah, somebody needs to stop. Somebody was doing something. All right, we are childish. Someone is being very childish. Collective for some of y'all, I'm picking up somebody was competing against somebody, and this person needs to stop because it's not the same, and somebody gonna end up dead because they're not realizing that it's not the same. Collective, I'm going to give an example. Collective, say like you smoke a lot of weed. And whoever this person is, collective, they just like to compete against you for the hell of it. So they said, anything you can do, I can do better. So I'm going to start, I'm going to smoke a lot of crack. But it's like, collective, this person hurting themselves, they ain't hurting you. It's like, collective, you could be a pothead, you smoke a lot of weed. But this person was like, okay, anything you can do, I can do better. So I'm going to smoke a lot of, a whole bunch of crack. <laughs> collective, you, I also heard collective, you might get restricted from a fool. Somebody's a fool or an idiot. Because something, it's, it's like collective, it could have been something that you did naturally. So you didn't see yourself as a star. It was just something that you did. You didn't view yourself as a star. But collective, this person viewed you as a star. So they overcompensated something. But 
It's like collective. This is who you is naturally. Like, you're not going to die because of your gifts and talents. But it's like, collective, what up this person was doing against you or trying to compete? It's going to land them in the world of trouble, collective, or something like that. <clears throat> Lord, have mercy. Give me the scoop with the nine of wands, the two of swords, the star, and heartbreaker. Something is not the same. <laughs> this person is crazy. It's like this person is on a suicide mission. So just leave them. Confusion. Confusion and conflict may be going on at this time. Collective, because you don't. <laughs> they say God is not the author of confusion, and he not. Foolishness is, or death is, or foolishness. So, collective, you didn't know something. It's confusion going on because somebody is like a fool. Somebody is a fool. Somebody is foolish. This person is fake and they a groupie and they be spreading lies. So, collect. I, co Oh, man, Collective, I don't know what this person did to you. It's like, Collective, you didn't know that you was the star. So, Collective... Oh, man. Collective, say like somebody seen potential in you, right? <clears throat> and this person... Collective, whoever this person is, you could have known them for a long time. It's like, Collective, this person, you saw the fact that you was a star. Collective, this person saw it in you before you did. So, it's like, Collective, say like this person a long time ago, they went and got a tarot reading on you. And the tarot reader said, yeah, the Collective going to grow up to be a, you know, a successful business owner, this is and that. It's like, Collective, what this person did was before you realized that that was one of your gifts and talents to be a business owner, this person went and started a business. But it's like, collective, this person is not the star like you is. So, this person wasn't able to handle something how you would have handled it. And it might be the cause of their death or something. That's, there's some confusion going on, collective, because somebody was trying to outshine you. And you didn't even know you was the star or... Collective, you do something so easy, you didn't realize that you influenced this karmic. But it's like the karmic was inspired by you, but they was inspired to become your competition. This is crazy. <clears throat> Somebody is foolish. <clears throat> Confusion and conflict may be going on at this time. Give me the scoop with the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles sideways with Fate. Yeah, caution, projection. Collective, somebody needs to caution about approaching you. Or collective, somebody need to, or this person should have caution before they try to like to like imitate you. Because collective, your life is a projection of the energy that you put out. So collective, this person probably wanted to do something that you did and expected to get the same results that you got. But this person going to end up deceased or something. Or they going to get sick or something. So, <clears throat> collective, say like, I'm going to give this for an example. Collective, say like you a female and I guess in the past, collective, you could have went through your phase. You was like a stripper. But it's like, collective, you strip for like money. You didn't strip because you're, uh, you ratchet or you have no morals. Collective, you became a stripper. You're very disciplined. 
you were stripping, you got your money, and you stopped or you went home. Collective, this karmic like look down on you. They wanted to do what you did, but they looked down on you. So it's like collective, say like you was a stripper, but after work, you never like went and hung out with the men. It's like collective, this karma was like the star is stupid. If you a stripper, strip. You like you don't want to have fun. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do that. So it's like collective, this 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 karmic got higher at your job. And the men that she felt as though you should have slept with, she slept with them. It's like collective, this karmic wanted to do something you was doing, but they felt as though they can do it better than you. But it was putting a karmic's life in danger. Or something like that, this karmic. It's like collective, the men, when you was a stripper, these men was like after you because you wouldn't sleep with them. It's like they was after you for the thrill, not because of experience. They was on you collective because they wanted to sleep with you. That was something this karmic didn't realize. It's like collective, you was the star for a totally different reason, something other than something. I'm giving that for example. It's like collective, this karma could have been on the outside looking in at something and didn't realize why you was the star or something. So it's like collective, the karmic need the caution or they, sh they should have caution in the past because they didn't understand how you got what you got. Collective, you didn't get what you get. Collective, you didn't get something how this karmic thought you got it or something. It's like the cards is telling the karmic, you need to caution because you don't know how divine feminine or divine masculine, you don't know. Okay. This karmic is not, um, sufficient or efficient concerning energy. So collective, this karmic wasn't reading your energy, right? <clears throat> so <clears throat> collective, this karmic didn't know how you was able to do what you did. So the karmic was told to caution because they didn't understand energy. Or collective, this karmic need to caution and leave you alone because you're not the reason for this karmic's demise. They're, they are. So collective, the karmic want to collaborate with you and you don't want to. Something like that. And the cards are saying, Carmen, you need the caution because your life is a projection of the energy you put out. So it's like the cards are saying to the karmic, ask yourself why you're being restricted from um, the collective. Or somebody don't want to deal with that karmic and they don't realize, they don't know why. Collective, this karmic think they're just like you, but they not. Because this karmic don't understand energy. This karmic don't know how to put things in its proper place. And collective, this karmic think they're just like you or they think they better than you and they're not. Collective, this karmic is actually fake and they're groupie and they be telling lies. And that's the confusion. The karmic is confused. Or something like that. What's the scoop with the six of cups, the eight of wands, and five of cups? <laughs> Stubborn. Yeah, someone is very stuck in their ways. Yeah. This karmic don't want to change something. This karmic, um, collective, this karmic is not, um, this karmic don't understand energy. They don't. So, collective, it's like you change with the times or something. And this karmic don't know how to do that. This karmic don't know when to stop. That's what this is. This karmic stuck in their ways. Because cause it's like, collective, in the past, the karmic got a victory because they didn't stop. So the karmic didn't pick it up energetically 
that it's time to stop. The karmic didn't pick something up because they were stuck in their ways. Because all the karmic know in the past, I got a victory because I didn't stop. Yep. Yeah. So, Collector, this karmic was like trying to um, clown you. Or this karmic was saying you was foolish. Collector, this karmic was saying if you don't do something how I do it, then you going the wrong way. Collective, no, you not. Collective, you're just more intuitive or you you know how to read energy collective. And this karmic don't. And this karmic wanted to, con wanted to convince you that they were right and you were wrong. And this karmic was confused. It's like collective, this karmic wanted to be you, but wanted to be a better you and didn't realize that they didn't know how to be you or something. Lord have mercy. Give me the school with the ace of swords, the knight of pentacles in reverse, temperance and lives being spread. Meant to be. This relationship is magical. It's meant to be. <sighs> This karmic was lying about something. Somebody was being a player too. It's like somebody was telling their lovers, I'm single. But what's up with me and you? Me and you is magical as meant to be. I'm single. So-and-so telling you we married? Nah, so-and-so lying. What's up with me and you though? That This is what the karma used to tell like they victims. <laughs> And somebody wouldn't stop. <laughs> this karma was like, no, I ain't married. No, no. What's up with me and you? This relationship is magical. It's meant to be. What's up with me and you? <clears throat> um, Collective, I'm also picking up. Somebody could be divorcing this karma. Because this karma didn't know when to stop lying to you, Collective. And just tell you the truth or something. So it's like collective, you might find out for a while your lover or your spouse was cheating on you. And they'll come home and say, uh-uh, what you talking about? I ain't cheating on you. This relationship is magical. It's meant to be. I'm not cheating on you. They lying. Yeah, somebody kept lying to somebody. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody thought that um, <laughs> telling lies is like magic to this person. To just lie is like magic. It worked like a charm. To just lie. Telling lies, it worked like a charm. But this person magic going to backfire or somebody getting karma for lying. This person was like, wow, all I got to do is lie? <laughs> is that easy? And this person kept doing it. Something like that somebody kept doing. Yeah. Well, collected, this was somebody using your identity or something. And they kept doing it or something. Collected, this could have been somebody going to a practitioner or something under your name or using your identity. And collective, it might be a practitioner or something that cursed this karmic. Because there's somebody going to find out that somebody was lying. So I'm kind of picking up something that's going on spiritual. Collective, this karmic has stolen your identity in some shape, form, or fashion. And collective, you're going to be restricted from this karmic because somebody might put out like a death ritual over like this karmic or your name. And it's like, collective, you being restricted from this karmic, so this death ritual will hit this karmic or something like that. This could be a practitioner. And this karmic could have been given, like, a practitioner your name. But it's like, collective, you have to physically or, like, energetically be away from this karmic when this spell work get pushed out. Because <clears throat> it's like, collective, the spell work only know your name. It's like they know the karmic, but they know the name. 
So it's like collective, you have to be in separation from this karmic. Because this karmic is not you, but they was giving somebody your name. And it's like this practitioner is like going to do spell work. It's like this practitioner know the karmic's face. It's like somebody confused. So it's like collective, when this practitioner do this spell work, they're going to have the karmic's face, but your name, because the karmic was lying. But it's like collective spirit is going to restrict you from this karmic in some type of way so that spell work can like get the karmic. Because cause it's like collective, you was innocent to this. The karmic was using your identity or something. And this practitioner going to be like, I don't know what the hell going on. But I'm putting so-and-so face in this, this name so-and-so keep giving me in this jar. Everybody going to get it. Yeah, somebody doing something like that. <clears throat> so it could be a practitioner that's like a little bit confused. And this practitioner, like, I don't know who, who, but everybody name going in the jar. And collective spirit going to separate you from this karmic. Or something like that. Or it's like this practitioner is going to, like, confront the karmic. And it's like the karmic going to have to tell this practitioner the truth to restrict death. Because somebody is, like, threatening this karmic. And this karmic going to have to tell the truth. Because this karmic was, like, doing something. Using somebody's identity or something. Or lying about their own identity or something. This karmic was doing I also see collective, somebody could have been a star, like somebody could have been famous. And collective, when this person would do crimes or something, or this could be crimes in the 5D, it's like collective, this famous person would use your name. <laughs> so it's like collective, you didn't know it was a famous person use your, using your identity or something. And that's the confusion part. It's like somebody that was famous. When they got ready to do their dirt, they used your name. Collective, I don't know how this person got your name. <laughs> but it could have been a famous person that was doing something. Or something like that. Give me the C. Yeah, moves in silence. Yeah. Moves in silence. Yeah. It's a lot of confusion going on collective. Because you dealing with somebody that's crazy. Collective, you dealing with somebody that was... Oh, man. Collective, you can be unrestricted from somebody. Because there's so much you don't know. Collective, you two swords. You could be an air sign. It's so much you don't know, Collective. And it's like spirit ain't got time to explain it to you. You just being restricted from somebody. And somebody going to pass away. Because somebody was moving in silence. So collective, somebody was doing something that you didn't know they was doing. And that's why it's some, a whole bunch of confusion. Or something. <clears throat> Give me the T for the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Sideways, Fate, Caution, and Projection. Yeah, head in the clouds. Collective, I'm kind of picking up whoever was coming up against you. Collective, this could have been your ex. Collective, your ex. Okay, collective, your ex wanted you back. But they didn't want people to know that they wanted you back. They was telling people that you wanted them back, but it was really them that wanted you back. So 
So collective, somebody is a groupie and they wanted you to look like a groupie, but it was really them. So collective, this could be one of your exes or this is like your competition in love. So it's like collective, somebody could have been making it seem like you was chasing somebody, but it was really them that was chasing somebody. It wasn't you. Because somebody missed someone. And somebody was being fake because somebody's head was in the clouds. Or something like that. <clears throat> What's the tea with the six of cups? Groupie, stubborn, eight wands, and five of cups. But somebody's going to regret doing something that they kept doing in the past or something. Yeah, divination abuser. Yep. Yep. Collective, somebody missed you. Collective, this could this your ex. Collective, your ex missed you, and they was going around telling people that you be stalking them, you harass them, you want them back. But it's like collective behind the scenes, this person was like abusing div divination. Collective, this person could have been doing um love spells on you or like dark magic or death rituals or something. Somebody was abusing divination because they missed somebody. But collective, this person thought maybe collective, maybe in the past, this person used to like to get a response from you. It's like this person wouldn't stop lying on you because they liked it to get a response from you. And then it's like they used to do spell work or something or something to do with divination. But this person was doing something to get your attention. But it's like, I don't know. What's the tea with the Ace of Swords, Lies being spread, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and Temperance meant to be? Yeah, a grudge holder. Yep. Somebody overdid something. Somebody overdid something and it wasn't that serious. Somebody overdid something. And it might cost them their life. Yeah, somebody is very foolish. Somebody collective. This could be something as simple as collective. Say like in the past, you cheated on your lover. It's like collective. Your lover wanted to like... Get revenge on you. But they oh, they overly did something. It's like collective. Say like you cheated on your lover with one person. It's like collective. Your lover went and cheated on you with like 50 people. And collective. Your lover could have contracted an STD. Because they was holding a grudge. They Somebody overly did something. And it might it be. It, it's it going to cost them their life. Or something like that. Or collective, you did something your spouse didn't like, and what your spouse did was start cheating on you and telling people y'all wasn't married. And uh, somebody, um, this is like overkill. Somebody um was holding a grudge, and and they started lying about something. Mm -mm. Oh, man, this person, somebody overdid something that they, because they was holding a grudge. So, collective, say like you married and something happened with your spouse and y'all separated. And collective, you was telling your spouse, okay, that's enough. Okay, we've been in separation for a year or two now. It's time for us to, okay, we got kids. We got to come back together. Okay, enough is enough. I learned my lesson. You learned yours. Let's get back together. 
It's like collective. Your level, your spouse was holding the grudge. They was like, no, I ain't moving back in. We ain't getting back together. Nothing. Um, something might happen to somebody because they was holding a grudge for too long. Somebody overdid something. Mm, yeah. Collected for some of y'all, um, this is your spouse. And collective, somebody was able to do something because y'all got the same last name. So collective, I don't know if your lover was taking your name or something to a practitioner. Or collective, you had a third party and you was married. And your third party was using your last name or using your wife's last name or using your husband's last name or something. <clears throat> somebody, mm -mm. <clears throat> so collective, if you got a spouse and you was cheating on your spouse, your third party could have been using your spouse name to spite you. So collective, your third party could have been going to a practitioner and telling collective, say like, your name is Aaron Jackson and your wife's name is Loretta Jackson and you had a third party. It's like collective. Your third party was taking your wife's name to a practitioner and telling a practitioner her name is Loretta Jackson. But is that your wife's name or something like that? So, collective, somebody could be putting your lover in danger because you connected to this person. And collective, you're being restricted from this person. So, they can get karma or something? Because I'm also picking up something that this person let off or did. They can't take it back or something. Or collective, you need to divorce your spouse because somebody could put your name in something. It's like collective, hurry up and change your last name or something. Because this spell work or something is about to manifest. And it got your name on it. So maybe Spirit wants you to hurry up and divorce somebody or change your name or something. Or something like that going on with a name. Because it's like once this spell work or this death ritual has been released, it's just, it's going to hit whoever it's supposed to hit. But it's like collective, you have to like change your name or separate from somebody or something. Somebody could have sealed something. Or collective, your ex or something is crazy, and they could be plotting like a murder-suicide. So it's like, collective, don't go nowhere with your ex. Well, y'all both got the last name, and the way this spell work is set up, it's like, collective, this person got to get you. They have to, or it's going to come to them, because y'all got the, the same last name or something. Or something like that. Somebody done did something. Something going on with some names. <laughs> Collective, I'm also picking up something going on and somebody could have already passed away, but y'all all can have the same last name. And Collective, this person wants you. They want you so the death ritual can, over, can skip over them because y'all all got the same last name or something. Somebody wants you, or they want something to happen to you, so it can skip over them. Because y'all got the same last name or something like that. So a practitioner or something, collective, somebody you know or a family member done did something. And this practitioner, like, put a curse on your family or something? Somebody could have cursed your family. Because your loved one or your family member was going down here playing with this practitioner or something. 
And it's like collective. I don't know if you look like your loved one or your family member. Y'all could look alike. And it's like your loved one family member trying to blame it on you. Or something like that going on. Somebody on their own. Somebody started this and they on their own. Collective spirit is restricting you from somebody. Somebody is on their own. Because they like did something. Or this person wanted you to pass away with them or something. Give me this. Give me Tara on um transition to the spirit realm. Give me give me Tara on this. Yeah, the King of Cups. Somebody might um pass away because they wanted the somebody's love. They wanted the King of Cups. Somebody wanted the King of Cups. Somebody wanted somebody's love. Or collective, this is your sibling or something. And your sibling felt as though your mother or your father loved you more than them. And y'all could have the same last name or something. Somebody was competing with you over the love of your parents or a lover or something. Something to do with love, that King of Cups. So somebody is being restricted from somebody that wanted love and they was going about it the wrong way. Somebody was going about it the wrong way and it might cost them their life because somebody wanted love or something. Or collected somebody wanted that King of Cups or something. Or collected somebody wanted to be a spellcaster like you or something. Yep. Yeah, somebody did something impulsively. Somebody wanted that King of Cups. Or collector, somebody wanted to be like you or something. All right. Clarify the King of Cups with um, transition to the spiritual realm. Yeah, keep shining. Your light irritates their toxic demons. Yeah. Yep. Somebody wanted the King of, King of Cups to love or collective you the King of Cups and somebody wanted to be like you. But they was going about it the wrong way and it might cost them their life. Or collective, this person was trying to um, it put an ending to your life. But it might get restricted. And collective, you the King of Cups, it is what it is. And Spirit is saying... I'm not going to allow no harm to come to the collective because they did they work and they the king of cups. So collective, somebody is mad because you the king of cups. Your light irritates their toxic demons. Or collective, somebody is annoyed by you because the king of cups love you and not them or something. So collective, death might come to your hater or spirit is going to restrict death from coming to you because of your hater or something like that. <clears throat> Give me the tea with the King of Cups keep shining with this other energy over here. Yeah, call the case. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody could have been trying to give somebody an STD. Collective, I'm also picking up. You could have had intercourse with somebody that had a, a, a STD, but you didn't catch it because you was protected. Yeah, you didn't get this STD collective. Or collective, somebody wanted to do a death ritual over you. Yeah, collective, somebody could have wanted to give you an STD on purpose. And that was the death ritual. They wanted to get you sick because they sick or something. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah, so somebody could have been trying to give somebody a sexual infection, a disease, or a rash. Or collective, this person is a hoe, whether they are male or a female. And it's like collective, this person wanted to blame it on you, that you gave it to them. But it's like collective, how can this person blame it on you when they sleep with everybody? This person don't know who gave it to them. 
So it's like collective spirit not going to let this person do harm to you. It's like spirit is saying to this person, go sit down. You do some of everything with some of everybody and you just want to target the collective because you sick because of your lifestyle. Collective, you didn't even know. Yeah, something like that. Or somebody just think they all that and spirit is telling this person, go sit down. You go sit down. So collective, this can even be something like collective, say in the past, maybe when you was younger or something, whatever. Collective, you could have gave somebody an STD or whatever. But like collective, this is something that's curable. And it's like collective, this karmic one was doing death rituals on you. It's like collective, you gave them an STD, but it, it wasn't even something. Oh my goodness. Collective spirit is saying, the spirit telling this karma. It wasn't even this, that serious collective. Whatever this karma was doing over an STD. Or something to do with an STD. Somebody was trying to give somebody an STD or something. Give me the scoop. With the King of Cups, caught a case sideways and keep shining. Or collective, this comment could have started a rumor about you. Purify, purify your energy and aura. Yeah. Collective, for some of y'all, this karmic started a rumor about you saying that you had an STD and this karmic could have almost got you killed because they was going around telling people you got like a deadly STD. So, collective, you might get put in jail. Um, or collective, something going to happen to this karmic because they put your life in danger. This karmic might pass away because they put your life in danger. Or collective, this karmic could be trying to set you up. It's like collective, this karmic is telling people that you gave them an STD or something. This karmic is saying something about you having an STD. And somebody's saying, bring so-and-so over here and we'll get them. Bring so-and-so over here since so-and-so giving people AIDS or something. And collective, this karma was trying to set you up to bring you somewhere so somebody can do harm to you. Yeah, or something like that. Or collective, this is your ex trying to do this to you. Collective, your ex is a hoe, whether a male or a female. Your ex got a, a STD. And they could be telling their family collective that you gave it to them, to them and you didn't. And collective, your ex could be trying to lure you somewhere so, so their family could do harm to you. Collective, you didn't get this person this STD. Collective, your ex could be mad because they the ex. Collective, your ex could have even been saying, yeah, I went to a tarot reader and the tarot reader told me that so-and-so gave me the STD. Collective di divination abuser. Yeah. So, collective, somebody could have been trying to keep you from clearing your name. Collective, somebody didn't want you to purify your energy and aura. Collective, I also see that somebody could have gave you an STD and they didn't know how to leave well enough alone. It's like, collective, somebody could have gave you an STD, but you not going to tell the whole world that somebody gave you an STD, collective. Collective, what this person did was started going around telling people you gave it to them. But in our reality, collective, they gave it to you. Collective, this karmic might get hurt for, like, just running their mouth. And collective, you're being restricted from this person. Or collective, this karma was telling people you gonna die. This karma was saying something collective. And collective, you being restricted from the karma because the karma is the one that's gonna die or something like that. Or collective, this karma was trying to get you sick. Collective, this karma was trying to get you sick.
that's a shame. Collective, this this karmic could be your ex, and they trying to come back. And this karmic want to get you sick, collective. Because it's like collective, this karmic um got an STD, and they want you to have it too. Yep. So it's like collective spirit is restricting you from um death. <clears throat> Or, collective, this karmic either has an issue with men, or this karmic got an issue with women. Collective, this karmic could have an STD, and they're giving it to the opposite sex on purpose. I see that, too. They're giving it to the opposite sex on purpose. So, for some of y'all, I'm picking up collective, this karmic is like a complete stranger to you. This karmic trying to highlight you. Hey, hey, Divine Feminine, what up, Divine Feminine? Come here, Divine Feminine. I want your number, whatever. But it's like, Divine Feminine, you talking to this karmic, and this karmic... <laughs> it's like Divine Feminine. I heard... I, I'm not going to sing it. I heard bitches ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. So it's like Divine Feminine. That's how this karmic really feel about women, but he's trying to date you, but he don't like women or something. That's what I heard. Bitches ain't shit for hoes and tricks. Yeah. Um. So divine feminine, this karmic could be a completely this man. He just want to give you this STD just to give it to you. Or it's like Divine Feminine, you could be very famous or popular in your hometown and you don't know it. So it's like Divine Feminine, this karma just want to get you sick just because everybody likes you or something like that. It's like Divine Feminine, you mind your business, people like you. Divine Feminine, be careful because this could be your ex or it's like a, like a potential new lover. This man want to spoil you by giving you an STD on purpose. Yeah. Or do my master be careful because this woman. Ugh. So I heard a star killer. A star killer. So somebody just a hater. They a star killer. They just a hater. Period. Whether it's a male or a female, this person, this karmic is a star hater. And divine feminine, you didn't even know you was a star. Or whatever type, whatever you do, Divine Feminine, you do it so well that you don't view yourself as being a star. But Divine Feminine, this karmic is a star hater. Whatever you do, people probably, um, whatever this is, Divine Feminine, this karmic wanted to get you sick. Or this karmic was telling people you sick or something. Or doing death rituals on you or something. Divine Feminine, I also see that this karmic went to a practitioner and lied and told the practitioner that you gave them an STD and that wasn't true. Yeah, so Divine Feminine, the karmic went to this practitioner and was like, I want a death ritual put out on Divine Feminine because Divine Feminine gave me an STD. Divine Feminine gave me AIDS. And Divine Feminine, that wasn't true. So Divine Feminine, stay away from this karmic. Or Divine Masculine, stay away from this karmic. Because this karmic is lying to like a practitioner or something. Yeah. <laughs> or divine feminine, this karmic or divine masculine, this karmic wants you to go visit this practitioner with them. And don't go. Don't go with this karmic. Something. Mm -mm. mm -mm. mm -mm. But I'm going to end it. That's what's going on over the weekend. What's the spell with this divination of you, What's the spell with this divination of you, The fourth house, one sense of security, family, siblings. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So this card could be a cancer or this divination abuser could be a cancer or have, or have cancer in a chart. Or divine from this divination abuser could be your family member, your sibling, your parents, or somebody you live with, or your landlord is doing this to you, this karmic. Yeah. Something to do with the fourth house. One sense of security, family, siblings, parents, ancestry, heritage, roots. One's housing and comfort. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to end it because that's what's going on. So I don't know. I think somebody might pass away over the weekend. And divine feminine or divine masculine collective, you got to purify your energy from this person. Or something. Or it's like divine feminine. This king of cups could be a spell caster. And Divine Feminine, the karmic could have went to the King of Cups and wanted a death ritual done on you. But Divine Feminine, this King of Cups might try to get in contact with you. Because he want to know, know something or something. It's like Divine Feminine, somebody might get in contact with you and tell you that somebody was doing spell work or death ritual on you because of an STD. And this King of Cups want to confirm something. And Divine Feminine, the King of Cups might not do this death ritual because the King of Cups going to get in contact with you. Yeah, or something like that. So death might get restricted or something. Because it's like Divine Feminine, you didn't know that you the star. So maybe the King of Cups know who you are, Divine Feminine. This King of Cups probably know you. Divine Feminine, I don't know what you're famous for or, or what you're well known for around town or in your community. But it's like Divine Feminine, this karmic done went to a practitioner about you. And it's like Divine Feminine, everybody know you. And that King of Cups know you too. That Divine Feminine, it might be a practitioner or somebody that might get in touch with you. Because it's like people respect you. You the star and you don't even know it. And somebody might try to clarify or that King of Cups going to ask you some questions because he's not sure. Or something. And Divine Feminine, you might be like, how you get my number? Divine Feminine, you could be confused about how somebody got your number or something. Divine Feminine, I see whoever this karmic is. Divine Feminine, when somebody pissed this Nine of Wands off, they go to the King of Cups. And the King of Cups do a death ritual. The difference is, Divine Feminine, you're well known in your town. So it's like Divine Feminine, that King of Cups not just going to do no spell work on you without clarifying or asking questions. Yeah, it's like somebody be doing something, Divine Feminine, and they didn't want you to know. And it's like they was plotting your demise behind your back, but trying to act like they your friend or your lover. Because you did something to them. They was holding a grudge or something. Yeah. Divine Feminine, so this karmic could have also been telling people that you stalking them. And Divine Feminine, somebody going to call you. 
And it's like divine feminine. You call, you, you're going to put an ending to somebody lying on you because you got proof. It's like divine feminine. You're going to tell that king of cups. You mean to tell me so-and-so came down there and told you I gave them an STD or this, this, and that? Divine feminine, you can have text messages or voicemails from this karmic. And divine feminine, this karmic on your phone talking about where you at? I want to come over and this, this, and that. Divine Feminine, you're going to play somebody voicemail to that King of Cups. Because Divine Feminine, if somebody was saying they don't like you or they not with you to the King of Cups, but it's like Divine Feminine, this person was like, be, yeah, somebody was lying, trying to get you hurt, Divine Feminine, or Divine Masculine. And Divine Feminine, you're going to have to temperate something because you got an email, a text, a recording, or something of, of this karmic. Yep. Yeah, something. So let me end it. So this is Blood Queen Zero. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe to your shit. Yeah, Divine Feminine. Um Things are becoming too much to bear. Yeah. Divine Feminine, whoever this karmic is, they getting karma. Somebody going to get caught in a lie. Mm-hmm. Somebody going to get caught in a lie. Somebody could have been astro traveling to you, Divine Feminine, and they going to stop. This person might pass away, too. Or somebody getting caught in a lie. Or something. Or Divine Feminine, somebody could have been saying you do spell work on them, you be astro traveling to them, you do death rituals on them, and it wasn't true. Yeah. So let me end it. So enjoy the weekend thing.